But God decides to judge Egypt. And Israel has been in Egypt. It has participated in some of the activities that are being done in one level or another. If God, the just judge, would begin to judge, do you think there will be any of these men and women who will be rescued? Would Israel be rescued? No. They have eaten the wound of Egypt. Ata wakiwa jangwani wanakumbuka. Nyama, nyungu za nyama. Note, nyungu za nyama. And what, how will God preserve somebody who has participated by eating? Now, I want to look at several things. Akasema, this is my Passover. Passover means, nimewapea kibali, niwaruke, ninapokumu. Nitaukumu Israeli, nitaukumu miungu yake, nitaukumu wazari wa kwanza, nitaukumu ngombe, nitaukumu mbuzi, nitaukumu. Kira kitu ambacho kiko inji, wosava my wrath. Can you imagine, matendo ya watu inafanya ngombe na mbuzi na mumbwa, tiukumiwe. Can you imagine in the weekend of Kenya, ngombe na mbuzi na umbwa na pakas, imekuwa participators. Can you imagine mama, mama huyo anakuja, anafanya mapenzi, wakiwa watsaba, wafanya mapenzi na mbuzi. Na, na kondoo ya kiume kwa kuchinjo. Imefanya kondoo kumbikamu participators of the wickedness. Nae mwingine huyo anafanya hivo, kwake ako na umbwa ambaye anaturiti kama mtu. Uyu mwenye kufanya hivo, kwake kuna umbo anaturiti kama mtu. Ambaya anastahili kurara nayo. Na umbo hii inatumwa kama mtu. Inatumwa kama mtu. Actually, Nafikiri ni mesho ni siku moja. Nirianza kuwa muka ni nakuta maali kwa wandugu walikuja wakaweka chuma na wakurundi. Walikuja warundi wajenga wafunike ya wakurundi. Sasa waliacha chuma hivo. Nikaanza kukuta kuna kinyezi hapo kwa chuma. Nilipoona marambiri sinafuatana. Na ni every night, every night. Nikasema sasa biyangu ya kanja kaniambia kuna kinyezi. Nikuwa ni meona. Nambia ye. Takini naona hii kinyezi. The progression hile hiko, hii si umbwa. Umbwa, si anaenda nga choo pale, anaenda pale, lakini huyu anaenda mahali specific. Ni kama mtu anaenda choo hapo, hapo. Ni kasikia huyu si umbwa. Huyu ni mtu, lakini ni mtu na sura ya umbwa. Ni kasema this is interesting. Nikasikia mungu ananibia usiguze hapo hiko. Now you have to deal with the thing first. Kwa mana taratibu ya uanja wandamu imeanza kuingizwa mahali ulipo. So you need to do something. So nikaiacha hapo. And in the next meeting, tukaanza, nikaanza kudiru nayo. When I started dealing nayo, umbu alipotea. Nikagundua umbu amepotea. Arundi hapo tena, kutoka wakati huo. Kumanisha, the beast have become participators. Nikanoti kitu ingine, mahali ninapake gali. Kuna mahali pana mavi kama ya mbuzi. Na inakuanga every night. Sasa pamejali. Ukienda pale, ata siitoi. Na ikuta pale, it's like now goats shed. Na kuetu wakuna mbuzi. Mbahali kwa kona. Yein kuna manyua, full. Ni kwa nindani, so unashindu wa paka ndi ya naweza kuingia hapa. Na mafu ya paka ikai, ini ya mbuzi kabisa. Every night iko. Every night, iko. Usiku wote, niko. Nika sapanga, sasa, 
Ata sita iguza, ngocha, let me see the one who is working, nione kama nitakuta huyo mbuzi. Kwa mana, huyo mbuzi, naangalia nyumba hiyo naona pana, mnyama ambaya na kiwango hiki, ana maali ya naweza ingiria. Na sioni maali ya meingiria, but hiko pale, mbuzi. So these are mysteries, ukute, Even the land has gotten involved. Na ndiyo sababu mungu anasema, usiku wa leo nitaka popita, nitaukumu inji, nitaukumu wa misiri, nitaukumu wa nyama, nitaukumu miungu. Because everybody who is in Egypt now is a participator of, his, of this wickedness. Wanyama na wanandamu. So jioni nilipokuja siku moja nikakuja usiku nikiingia ninakuta mnyama mkubwa mkubwa karibu umbwa na si umbwa So ninamwangalia hata ana haraka kwa maana nafikiri nilifungua gate akiwa I expect na na taa ziko on So sasa amekuwa confused ana haraka ako pale anatembea na muangalia Ninajua ni aina gani ya mnyama lakini namwangalia na shindo huyu dia kwa na ile kazi iko kule ndani. Hata si kumkimbisha sina haraka. Namwangalia mwisho akatafuta njia akatoroke akaingilia kwa fence akaenda zake. Town. Nyama karibu umbwa. Nyama sitasina kumwambia na shindwa. This is this is interesting. It is interesting. Uyu. Nani mkubwa sana huyu anaingia pale ndani vipi? They are participators. Kuna mtu ananiuliza kuogopa nini? Unafikiri hata nikimkuta mimi ninakimbia? Eh? Ninatoka naenda kumwangalia. Natoka naenda kumwangalia. Why? Because I reached a place. I understood the mystery of the land. I understood the mystery of the land. That the animals have become participators of this evil. He shall judge all. But he wants to rescue Israel. Pamoja na ngombe zao, na mbuzi zao, na watoto wao, anataka hao awa pite. That is what Paso for us to do. God passing you over Though you were supposed to be a part of them that shall be judged. Kuna watu wanauliza, na ninapata shinda ina ina. Goja ni kuambie, mungu wa sipo kuruka, kuruke tu. There is no way to be rescued. If you follow this thing, utakuta almost every one of you amekura iyo chekura. Nyama ilio nandamu ya mwezi ilio wekwa. Almost all of you have eaten. Nyama hiyo na describe imewekwa vitu ingine ambayo. Because some of us are very good attenders of functions. Walimu wakito unakuta uko kule. Unaweza kupitu wa aji na kule walimu wanaenda. You are there. E, e, kazini wamepere kwa seminar. You don't even refuse. Uko katika hoteli ule. Na semina zingine si meperekwa kwa maoteli kwa sababu ya kitu kile. Kwa mana kutoka kule, people can be fed. Iri warudishwe. People can be fed. So unaweza kukuta, you are becoming dark in the mind and dark. Na, na uoni kile ulifanya. But the darkness is increasing. Wakati mungine unafika mahali hata kuomba inakuwa shida unashindwa sasa nilifanya makosa gani na sikuna ma nilienda tu seminar ya kazi nilienda tu nini ya kazi Kama sasa Nairobi kuna hoteli nilizoea kurara ukule ndiyo brother Kedenji kila wakati alikuwa anaenda ku kutafuta ni hoteli mzuri na 
iko na security so ukifika pale hata usumbuki kuna mtu anashumbuka kule gari itawekwa kuna nini so ni, ni, ni mahali pazuri lakini nikiingia pale hata tulikuwa naenda naye namwambia nikiingia na kwa nyumba unawaambia enda waambie wabadilishe nyumba hii kuna kitu nasikia nasikia development ya aina ya kishetani Nikirara kule ninasikia miguu inachomeka chini. Nasema kuna kitu hapa. Any time I go there I do not sleep. Narara awake throughout the night. Because hata nikirara nasikia miguu inachomeka I cannot sleep. So siku moja nauliza Mungu ni nini? Kumbe hoteli hii ndipo wazee wa kabila fulani ukutana. So security ile imewekewa hata nikauliza hao wasee wamewekwa kwa maana the people that have been put there in security are people that have come from the police force <coughs> nasema hata mmoja ni rafiki tulimfanjuana hata tuna nikifika mimi sina shida hata tafuta kule gari itawekwa nikaanza nikauliza security hii uwe ya nini is it really normal nikaanza kugundua kumbe mahali hapa kuna kikundi cha wazee uja na kikija hata wale walikuwa wamekondesha ni kuhamishwa uhamishwa kama kulikuwa na guest watahamishwa kabisa kubaki hakuna mtu kwa rooms na actually something funny that is the hotel where most of the circles staff are taken for training kama sasa ya kina wale kulikuwa tuko wana pereko yule tuko wana pereko ni cannot nikija the people are meeting there ni circles nini circles training 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 diso siko pale kwa nyumba na watu wao hata wana room mzuri za hotel ati hili unasema ni home mzuri they started converting the hotel na nikasema hapana something is strange here something is strange so ni nilipoanza kugundua kitu kile nikaamua kubandilisha kule nikaanza kuondoka although hata si kuongea na wao tena although niliambia kidhenji huko kuna kitu kasoro kuna kuna kitu kasoro hapa but the praise is good seems good they attend to people very well but it is a place of mysteries utakuta mahali pale kutoka galiza kwenda juu galiza zote utasikuta pale na sema this is a place of mysteries so you are, if you are not keen you find yourself you wait food you should not have eaten so when god begins to judge you realize nobody will be rescued unless he passes you over now these are the mysteries are the principles of passing over i want you to note that number one, he gave them a ram to stro- to slaughter for food a ram to slaughter for food a ram to slaughter for food if i was to use a layman's language ninaweza kusema chakula itahusika he gave them a ram to slaughter for food that ram has two mysteries number one, it is stood for the future ilisimamia kitu kitakachotendeka kule mbele ilimusimamia kristo ilikuwa na maana number two, iribeba sheria walizo sitahili kufuata kutoka wakati huo kwenda mbele 
maina wacha kutoroka unaweza kutoroka aje maina wakati maina <laughs> it is stood kuhusu sheria ilisimamia sheria watakazokuwa wasifuate kutoka wakati huo kwenda mbele Have you gotten that? Kitu cha tatu ilisimamia meza yao ya chakura. Ilisimamia meza yao ya chakura. Na kile ilikuwa ibebe. Meza ya chakura na kile ilikuwa ibebe. Ilisimamia meza yao ya chakura na kile ilikuwa ibebe. Those are three things the ramp kwa hivyo ni kondoo wamepewa wachague katika gara, eh, mashamba ma, ngombe zao wachinje lakini yule kondoo anabeba siri ngapi tatu sio kondoo tu ni siri na siri ile ndiyo kwamba alikuwa asimamie kitu kitaka chotendeka katika siku za usoni ili musimamia kristo kuja kwake na kile atakachosimamia kitu cha pili ilisimamia sheria ilibeba sheria wa ambazo walistahili kufuata kutoka wakati huo kwenda mbele kwa hivyo kile wana, wana, wanaingia kwake ni sheria wanazostahili kufuata kitu cha tatu ilisimamia meza yao ya chakula na kile ilikuwa ibebe Katika kanisa la Kenya kama tutaweza kufikia kurukwa na Mungu asirete ile hukumu lazima tuelewe meza ya chakula na kile uwe inabeba ili tuondokee meza ya chakula kama kichakula cha tumbo ile Biblia inasema chakula ni cha tumbo na tumbo ni ya chakula na zote zitaharibiwa kitu kile tuondokee katika akili zetu kwa maana wa Kenya utembea kama chakula ni cha tumbo basi. Lakini waelewi meza ya chakula huwa inasimamia hukumu za maisha yako. Note that. Hukumu za maisha yako zinafanya kazi vipi? Hukumu za maisha yako zinafanya kazi vipi? We shall discuss that later. Kwa maana kama utarukwa ni kumaanisha hukumu za maisha yako zimeanza kuondokea kile atakuwa na hukumu zimeanza kujiunganisha na kile angetaka uwe nacho kama utaokolewa ni kumaanisha hukumu za maisha yako zilizo katika meza ya chakula yako zimeanza kuondokea kile anakuja kuhukumu zimeanza kujiunganisha na kile angetaka kuhifadhi have you gotten that hukumu za mesa yako hukumu za maisha yako hukumu za njia yako hukumu za uyatendayo kama atakuruka lazima ziondokee kile anakuja kuhukumu ili sinjiunganishe na kile angetaka kuhifadhi i repeat that again hukumu za meza yako hukumu za maisha yako ndiyo zinasimamiwa na meza yako I, lazima iondokee hukumu zake lazima ziondokee kile anakuja kuhukumu sianze kukimbishana na kile angetaka kuhifadhi wakati huo atakupita atakuhifadhi na kitu kile ndicho alipea Israeli kwanza akawaambia usiku wa leo mtachinja kile ile yule kondoo mtachinja akawapea siku za kuhifadhi yule kondoo kumulinda kumuweka kumtayarisha kwa sababu anastahili kubeba maana frani na mwishowe chakula chenu kitakuwa kimebeba hukumu za kule muendako je ushawahi kujifundisha kubadilisha meza yako ya chakula iweze kubeba hukumu zako hukumu za uendako iondoke hukumu za utokako ukifika pale utajikuta kila mahali uitwapo 
utajua wakati chakula kinakasoro. Kwa maana chakula huwa kinabeba hukumu. Wakati unapewa chakula cha kawaida na wakati unapewa chakula cha miungu utajua. Kwa maana tayari meza ya kwako ile unatumia kwako imeanza kuondokea hukumu za kile Mungu anataka kuhukumu imeanza kuelekea katika hukumu ya kile anataka kuhifadhi. Glory to God. Have you gotten that? Mm. I wish I was on a teaching platform we explore what I have said. But I'll put that in your heart. You can go and explore it yourself what I have said. Na taifa la Kenya lime limeangamizwa wakati chakula cha Kenya kirigeuzwa kikatolewa katika eneo la kawaida kikaletwa eneo lisimamiae hukumu kwa maana unaposikia chakula walichinjwa na ikichinjwa wanafanya hivi wanarudi wanaweka hiki wanabandilisha chakula cha eneo hilo chote baada ya sherehe hiyo dakika hiyo utakuta hata ukira kwako unakula unaanza kusikia tumbo likuuma tumbo linasokota unasikia kama kama uko nchi nyingine unashindwa ni mimi nilipika chakula ilifika kuwa poisoned vipi ni ya kwamba kuna watu waligeuza meza ya chakula cha watu walio eneo lile kikawa meza za hukumu ambazo Mungu anataka kuondoa na huku gundua ukienda kupika kuelewa chakula cha kwenu kimebandilishwa ili ukatae na meza yako ukatae na yako useme yako la hasha aiendi pande hiyo yangu hukumu zangu sinaenda njia hii sio njia hiyo ukatae na yako kitu cha pili utanoti katika jambo lile akawaleta akawambia waingie kwa nyumba wafunge mirango wapake ndamu kwa mrango waingie kwa nyumba wafunge mirango wapake ndamu kwa mrango kwa hivyo kondoo yule wanamchinja wakiwa ndani ya nyumba wakiwa wamefunga mirango na wakiwa wamepaka ndamu kwa mirango hiyo ni kumaanisha nini amewaleta katika njukwa linjengae nyumba ikiwa inabeba uzima sio mauti amewaleta ame katika njukwa la nyumba ikiwa imebeba uzima na sio mauti note that amewaleta katika njukwa la nyumba likiwa limebeba uzima na sio mauti kama atakuruka lazima uvikie uanze kufikia bandiliko la taratibu na kanuni sinjengae nyumba hmm hapo ni mahali pengine kama atakuruka ni kweli umeokoka umesamehewa dhambi lakini mapigo ya nyumba hile wakati walitenda vitu vile kizalira ufunika watu wa kweni litakaa juu yako Vivo vile vinakufa watoto wa nyumba ya kwenu vitakaa nju yako. Because kama kila nyumba utoa kafara ya yule mtoto, watoto wao wa kwanza watakaa wakikufa. Na kila nyumba inatoa yule msichana ambaye anakuja kwa meza, hiyo inaanzisha hiyo usinzi kwa maana uanzishwa na msichana Bikira. Kila nyumba utoa msichana huo itakuwa na msichana hasiyepata watoto. Those are mysteries. 
na utakuta ulingangana na kitu kile na hukujua ni nini mnangangana nacho kama sasa niko na watu niko na watu kadhaa wanangangana wengine wanaje anakuja na niuliza nimeenda kwa daktari wanasema sina shida sina shida kabisa kama sasa kuna mmoja alikuja ako nje ya ijia kanja kaniambia niko na shida na kutoka niolewe miaka 15 sipati mimba na madaktari wanasema sina shida kwa hivyo ni maenda madaktari wote na wameaniandikia barua inasema unexplained infertility unexplained infertility kwa maana every medical test that can be done in the world nimefanya and they are saying there is no problem can you tell me what is my problem nikamwangalia nikamuliza swali umeza wewe ni wa kabila gani akaniambia mimi ni embu ya akasema wewe ni wa embu wapi akanipea hmm. nikamuliza umeolewa wapi akanipea nimeolewa ukikuyuni wapi akanipea nikamuliza siku ya arusi yenu kulifanywa nini sasa ananipea procession nikamwambia hapo ndipo mambo iliendea kombo nikamuliza wasichana wako ni utairiwa akaniambia ndio ispoke wote nini nikamwambia basi hiyo enda uongee na mama yako kuna siri ya nyumba kuna siri ya nyumba hiyo itakuwa kazi alafu nikamwambia na uchunge umesikia umeuliza swali nikamwelekeza na wewe hauko katika njukwaa la maombi hiyo nimekueleza inaweza kutoka kifo chako so uchunge something strange was akitoka hapa kufika kule anafanya kazi alikuwa mgonjwa kwenda hospitali daktari anamwambia nyumba yako ya mtoto inahitaji kutolewa akanipigia simu kaniambia kuna shida nimefika nikawa mgonjwa nikamwambia nilikwambia ulipoenda nyumbani uliuliza maswali gani because sometimes we are so foolish we go very angry ukishaambiwa unjua shida ya kueleza watu unakasirika naenda ukiwa umevura hii ni lazima iwe wewe nyinyi ndio mnatuletea shida nikamwambia ngoja nikwambie sasa sasa safari imekuwa different njukwara magonjwa kuhusu kitu kile limefika kwa maana wamejua umeanza kupata kurus so make sure daktari yule una ndiru na yeye ni daktari umwambie kuwe nini ama nini hata kama ni operation nyumba ya mtoto isiondolewe na kila daktari anaenda anamwambia hii lakini mwisho akaniandikia akaniambia nimepata daktari anasema it can be done because things started falling apart it's a person who has been born again wrong time ameolewa akiwa ameokoka hata anja ingia kwa uzinzi anja ingia wapi lakini taratibu za nyumba ile singali zinamfuata how do you get rescued unless god passes you over because walinjenga kitu hiki na wakiza jenga kama kinafuata msichana wa kwanza kama wewe ndio wa kwanza wewe ndio utakibeba na kitakuwepo how do you get rescued look at the protocol that he followed kitu cha kwanza alishughulikia meza anayetumia kama utakuwa rescued you must make sure meza yako imetoka katika hukumu zile ana hukumu na hiyo ndio kitu watu ondokee hata tukifanywa nini because tuliokoka lakini matendo ya tuliolewa nayo atuondokee so hukumu za meza yetu azibandiliki sasa utagundua wewe ni mkikui matendo ya ukikui ungali wewe ni mumbere matendo ya lakini matendo mengine yanaonekana yakiwa very innocent 
Kwa maana hakuna mtu anaweza kukwambia umetenda dhambi. So innocent hakuna mtu anaweza kukwambia hiyo ni uovu. Yule anayejua ni Mungu unayeamini anajua tendo hilo lina maana yake. Ndiye anajua lugha hiyo umeongea inamaanisha nini? Yule mzee alikuwa kwa uwanja ule na Mungu ndio wanajua maana na shetani ya neno hilo umetamka. But if you insisted before God baada ya kuokoka bwana nataka kufikia hukumu zako atakuzukuma mpaka akulete mahali aanze kukufundisha ukiongea na kuuliza hicho umesema unajua kwa maana kuna maneno ya, ya kawaida uwe amebeba hukumu kuna tendo unaweza kuona la kawaida sana na yule ako pale akikuangalia na shindwa huyo ni nani kwa nini amefanya hivyo kwa maana anajua tendo lile maana yake anajua the spiritual effect it will have lakini wewe wewe ni naif blank bright confused just like that just simple like that so kama utaokolewa lazima baada ya kuokoka usonge mpaka ufikie tendo linjengaye nyumba likiwa tendo lililo na uzima sio tendo lililo na mauti inawezekana kuwa unja fikia ukamilifu lakini umetoka katika eneo lile la men and women who are naive you have come to the room that understands judgments na umeanza kuondokea maneno ya njengayo na tendo lake la la kifo ukaanza kuingia katika neno linjengaro na tendo lake la uzima ili ufikie kile tunaita nyumba nyumba mostly huwa inajengwa na mira Now now majaribu imekuwa nyingi. Sasa sijui ama mtanisaidia nisiingie kwa majaribu. Kwa maana kuna chakula mbele. Na leo nilikuwa nimesema nataka nikule mchana. <laughs> Kwani mmecheka? Eh? Zina nafikiri hata nyinyi mlikuwa nasema hivyo. Hmm? Nataka kukusomea neno ili uelewe kile nimesema. Waefeso mbili mstari wa pili. Anaanzia mstari wa kwanza wa, anasema and you have been quickened who are dead in your trespasses and sins. Say after me I have been quickened. I who, I who was dead in my trespasses, in my trespasses. And, in my and in my sins look two statements trespasses and sins what are trespasses go and stand that one we shall face it that thing later then mustari wa piri where in the time past you walked according to the course of this world note that katika siku hizo mlipokuwa mjaokoka mlitembea kwa kanuni za ulimwengu huu you walked by the course of this world mlitembea kwa kanuni za ulimwengu huu now note the next statement according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that is now worketh in the children of disobedience what has he said mlitembea kwa kanuni za ulimwengu huu Kanuni zile sinafanya kazi kulingana na mtawara wa anga wa ulimwengu huu. Roho afanyaye kazi 
na ketio ndani ya wana wa kuasi Have you gotten that? Ooh, I wish I wish you get this well. And you'll be able to pray. Note, nyumba ile anasema kabla sinja nenda mjua mjengo ule anasema you've been quickened, muliuhishwa. Nyinyi mulio kuwa mmekufa katika uasi na katika dhambi. Mulizo tembea ndani yake kulingana na kusundi za ulimwengu huu ama kusundi ama nini? Kos. Njia nini ingine? Eh? Mienendo za ulimwengu huu. Sirizo kuwa sawa sawa na kusundi za mtawara waanga. Roho atendaye kazi ndani ya wana wa kuasi. Hata mama hata ukiweka kwa mfuko tu yataendelea kuongea tu na alitaka kutuhumbilia Aya huyo naye amepanga asikizi <laughs> Yeah Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, turundi na huku tuache mama hapo. Roho atawarae ulimwengu huu upata mamlaka ndani yetu na juu yetu kwa the cause we walk by. Have you gotten that? Kama katika kutendea, kutembea kwetu, tendo la kutembea kwetu ni tendo likubalia naro na maskani yake. Likikubaliana anapata uwezo juu yangu na ndani yangu. Have you gotten that? Mungu pia baada ya mimi kusamehewa dhambi Nimekubalika kuwa mwana nimekuwa quickened atapata maskani yake na apate mamlaka ndani yangu by the cause I will adapt That cause is the one that builds Matendo ya ku, ya njia hiyo ndio ujenga Ndiyo inakujengea nyumba ikiwa na mamlaka ya yule roho ama inakujengea nyumba ikiwa na mamlaka ya uungu Now this is the problem we have in Kenya Na kanisa la ra ulimwengu ra nyakati hizi limeanguka mtiani hapa Dia kwamba sisi ni watu mukiri Kristo but we never affect the course we walked by So utasikia wa Kenya wakisema kama ni mkikuyu sisi ni wakikuyu na mkosa mira ni mtumwa sisi ni wambere na mkosa mira ni na utagundua sasa tuko na shinda sana kwa maana misizi yako unaona vile unafundisha unaweza kujikuta hata kuongea kiingereza fluently ni shida Ai Na shinda kubwa ni ya kwamba kimbere ndio hata unapewa watoto ati wanjifundishe kuongea Kiingereza na unawapea muta lakini wewe hata ukiongeresha mgeni utajua kuna mgeni ukiwa umeongea maneno mpaka anashindwa What's wrong with you Kile kitu kilipenya ndani 
likawa tendo retu linjengaro tendo linakuwa ngumu kuondokea Zo kizazi hiki na kanisa lake kinashinda kwa sababu ya njambo moja tulisamewa dhambi wikawa weekend but we do not break from the course we walked by that means the power of the air is still having power over us and activity within us hiyo ndio inafanya wazewa wa kila chakula hiyo wafanye tendo hilo linafunga mbele mzima hata wewe linafunga embu mzima hata wewe unasema umeokoka unasikia moyo umejifunga kila kitu kimejifunga unasikia hata umaraya watu unaenda juu ya umaraya si mbaya leo kama ninaweza pata ya kupenya si mbaya si mbaya vile watu wanaiongea ni vile watu wanaongea sana sisiki kama ni mbaya unaanza kusikia unajiuliza kwanza umbaya wake unakuanga nini na unaketi peke yako ukijiuliza ama umaraya umbaya huwa wapi nikienda na nisidhuru mtu umbaya utakuwa wapi unasikia akili zako zimeanza kujiuliza kwa maana wakati nyumba ile ilifanya umaraya wake ilifanyia kila mzee na kila mama na kila mtoto kama sasa shule ile unanena juu yake ina umaraya ukitembea usiku ndio utashangaa inaweza kuwa pale ndipo wa mama ukutana kwa sababu ya shughuli ya mbuzi yao saa tisa. watoto wa shule hiyo lazima wafuate na ndio sababu itafungwa waliponjua wewe ndio ulipelekwa lazima wafunge kila asubuhi wakuja kwa mrango wafunge wewe ndio unafungiwa nje usiingize kile unakuja nacho ndani ukae nje Razima ufikie tendo lijengae nyumba uingie na uanze kufunga mirango kufunga mirango ni kumaanisha nini uwe serious about staying in na si Mungu atakuja kukufungia anawaambia muingie na mfunge mirango na mpake ndamu si mimi nitawaweka ndani ataka kuwa nje ni njui yake as long as you are outside in the house whatever will happen to the others will happen to you ni nyinyi mtanjifungia na hata mkisikia nduru wa kiria never come out until when the trumpet of getting out is blown mutoke muende kweni ukitoka nje uko peke yako and that is what happens to us as long as you are out you are alone you are not with god kitendekacho kwa walio tawaliwa na ule uwezo wa anga kitatendeka kwako and that is why the church of the world cannot influence the world the the the, the sacrifices to the devil are becoming the rulers of the world the nations now are being ruled by wicked men because the church never changes its course and you cannot change the house before you change the course because the cause build the house for you Nitarudia tena you cannot change the house before you change the cause because the cause builds the house for you When you change the cause you start building a new house breaking the old house Mm thank you holy ghost This is the mystery of Passover. The sacred mystery of Passover. Na aliwaambia hivi, akaambia Musa Musa na uelewe. Kila mgeni atakayetaka kula Passover, hata yule uliyonunua awezi kula ayuko katika ile nyumba. That tells you the issue was not the house. Akitaka kula atairiwe afanyike Muisraeli. He makes a commitment to be gone. 
hata yule ulinunua na pesa lazima afanye personal commitment can you imagine the servant of abraham could pray to the god of abraham na akamchukua akamtuma akamwambia uende na Mungu atakuongoza wekelea mkono hapa hapa autas akamuliza na msichana akikataa kuja mwambie msichana akikataa na ndiye Mungu alichagua Mungu atakuachilia and this man comes to the well and he says lord god of my master make my way prosperous msichana atakaye kuja hapa anipe maji na apee punda huyo ndiye msichana nitaenda naye fanya hivyo he was told to look for raban he never looked for raban alifika akajua huku ndiko anaishi eh simtavuti na simama hapa kwa maana hata nikimtavuta nitanjua msichana vipi kunaweza kuwa kuna kumi. how will i know kasema god of my master abraham ama the well najua wasichana wote hii ndio kizima ya pekee ni jangwani anajua that is the only place they go na ikifika saa tisa lazima wakuje kuteka wanakuja kila siku kwa maana si wanateka na nyungu ya kupepa ya njioni so the next day lazima waje kwa kizima so msichana nitakayeambia anyweshe maji aninyweshe na aseme hata ngamia nitanyweshe mpaka sichipe do you know that question what it means number one, she is honorable enough to say sir let me give you water number two, she is industrious enough by willingness to serve because kupea ngamia maji of a stranger ako na ngamia kumi upee maji na kibuyu size hii utakuwa unatoa jasho But Isaac requires that type of a lady. That's why Rebecca it was easy to pray for a womb to be opened than for Sarah. They are the difference. Rebecca was as barren as Sarah. But Sarah took over 50 years. But Rebecca wakati alifika Isaac alijua hatapata mtoto. How did he know? I don't know. Alijua she is barren. And the Bible says and Isaac prayed. Say Lord God, please. Mama yangu alikojea miaka 50. Usikubali Rebecca angojea miaka hiyo. Open her womb. And she was passed over by the struggle. There is something she had different with the other women of the father's house. But what I was saying basically is this man was a servant but he had dedicated himself now to belong to the house of Abraham. So he could pray to the God of Abraham. Can you imagine hata alipotumwa kwenda kutafuta mtu na anajua ndiye mlidhi wa pekee Abraham asipopata mtoto ili mali yote nitapata Can you imagine the man was not jealous Aliambiwa aenda ukanitafutie msichana na akaenda kutafuta msichana He must have chosen the god of Abraham Unafikiri wewe mtu ni mtumwa miaka mzee ana si ndio opportunity yake ya kuwa free na atalidhi mali ile yote Unafikiri mwingine akitumwa ataenda? Atasunguka aseme amekataa. Nilimuona lakini alikataa. But this man kuna tendo alikuwa naye tofauti. Alikuwa na tendo tofauti. Tendo lililo na uzima ndani yake. And God could hear him. Sisi we are born again but we never break the course
kuta mtu ataniuliza how will i break that curse because that curse gives the power of the air authority over you it gives the power of the air an ambition within you so kuna devils iko ndani ya watu ambao hatuta hatuna mamlaka kuziondoa mbaka wavunje hiyo kanuni ya kutembea kwao ili yule roho apoteze next work ndani yako anapoteza not network na utaenda akipoteza huyu anapoteza na kuacha unatembea huyo mwingine anapoteza na kuacha unaenda tena huyo mwingine anapoteza na kuacha so kuna huwa tunashangaa deliverance ilikuwa inafanywa vipi kitambo na watu wanapona mbira kuona all these problems when you change the cause the deliverance begins when you begin to change the deliverance begins zira za kuombea watu wakirusha miguu na kurusha mikono that is not the right way in deliverance in deliverance way way but that is not the right way the right way is when people change the course atangangana na yule roho kwa munda lakini kuna dakika uwezo wake utakatika ukianza kukatika kama alikuwa kwa ndamu ndani atatoka utaona mkono umefura mahali na kumbe ni pepo anatoka kwa maana ako kwa ndamu aliye kwa ndamu utoka hivyo I hope you understand. Aliye pandwa kwa ndamu, aliye kwa ndamu ni nani? Yule uliridhi aliingia kwako kupitia kwa ndamu. Alitoka kwa mbegu ya baba yako akiwa katika ndamu. Kwa hivyo ako anaoperate from your blood. Kuondoka kwake, mamlaka yake yakikatwa ni kitu kitatendeka ukute kwa mwili wako kumetokea kaufimbe kanafura. Kumbe ameanza kuama. Wakati mwingine unakuta kitu ni strange lakini baada ya hiyo unasikia it's like I have become fresh. It's like the darkness that used to be on me has just lifted. There is the right the normal way to be set free. Changing the course. Sasa baada ya hiyo tunabaki na ile pepo inahitaji kuondolewa na itaondoka na inahitaji kuondolewa because of a different legal right that requires to be rebuked. Sio ile inaketi ndani yako kwa sababu iko kwa nyumba ndani. Ile inahitaji kuwa rebuked iondoke. The one to be rebuked when you rebuke it, it lives. The one seated in the blood na iko kwa nyumba. Mutangangana naye. Anaror anaamka anaroro tena na muka anatupa miguu juu anatoa nguo anafanya mutangangana sana that is why he told me teach them the truth freedom is brought by the truth you shall know the truth the truth shall set you Amen. Tuko pasova. Now we are going to the table of the Lord. And to the food. I wish nilikuwa nafundisha sasa ningeendelea hapo mbele. Nimekupea the mystery of being passed over, the secrets hidden. If the Lord shall pass you over. Because we are all guilty. But he created the path we are passing over. Na ukuta ya mwisho amesema the blood shall be the token meaning the blood of Christ shall be the token over you That's why we are going to the table of the Lord Katika mesa hii tunataka kubandilisha vitu kadhaa tunataka kubandilisha hukumu zile tunatumia Kama sasa wameteremka katika uwanja wa meza ya hukumu meza ya hukumu ile iko na level 5 tano. Mm, tano? Mm. Kuna hukumu inafanywa na mtoto akiwa katika nyumba ya mtoto ya mama yake katika uwanja ule kuna hukumu ufanywa na nyumba na mtoto akiwa katika nyumba ya mtoto akiwa miezi tatu. wakitoa mimba hiyo ndio inatayarisha njiwe hile ukalia yule mzee 
kuna wakati wataitoa ikiwa na miezi saba. Hizo ni hukumu za mtoto akiwa katika nyumba ya mtoto. Kuna hukumu inafanywa na mtoto akiwa wa kuzaliwa. Hiyo ndiyo inajenga nyungu ya sauti. Wataleta yule mtoto wa muweke kwa nyungu wa mchome akiwa hai. Kilio chake kijenge nyumba ya sauti na kijenge nyungu ingine ambayo inafanya hukumu. Kuna hukumu ya mtoto akiwa miaka tatu. Hiyo ndiyo tunasumbuana naye. Mtoto huyo wanatumi, wanafanya raana na wanafanya kile wanaita kubariki. But how can you bless kidding? What type of a blessing will you bless when you are kidding? So wanasema mtoto yule ako na jukwa rake la kurani na ako na jukwa rake la jukwa ya kubariki ndiyo watamuleta na mama yake. Mama yake arale na yeye mbere ya wazee. Ajifarishe raana. Iri warani yule wanataka. Yuko ya kubariki ndiyo hiyo unaona wakifanya wanamtoa kafara akiwa pale wanafungua kifua. Ndamu yake ingie kwa nyuku yule njoka aanze kuongea. Nyungu hiyo ndamu yake itaingia ni njoka yuko. Yule njoka aanze kuongea. Kuna ya mwaka mtoto akiwa miaka saba. Nimewapea ngapi hizo ni ngapi sasa? Akiwa miaka saba. Ndiyo Mungu ananiambia hile ndiyo ufunganisha kizazi na yule njoka. hukumu yake kuna ya mwaka akiwa miaka kumi na mbili thank you god na miaka kumi na mbili ndio wanajenga viwanza vya utawara nayo na ndio inafanya yule msichana miaka mbili bikira adhurumiwe sana kumbuka ile ya mtoto wa kuzaliwa ufanywa na mtoto kijana na mtoto msichana na mtoto huyu msichana udhurumiwa pia na wazee na kwingine anazikwa akiwa hai huyu saba pia udhurumiwa wase wale watamu pale ndipo wataanza activities zile Arafu, kuna revo ya kijana akiwa miaka 25. Hiyo ndiyo ninatafuta wanafanya nini naye kwa maana pale ndipo wako sasa. Ananiambia kijana yule wanatumia ni miaka 25 na msichana miaka 25. Na hiyo huwa wanatumia sana kujenga nyumba. Wanatumia sana kujenga nyumba ya utawara, lakini sinjawahi kujua kabisa kijana huyu mamlaka yake. Kwa maana ni kama ufanywa wakati wanataka kupea mtu mamlaka iliyo juu ya kabila kidogo. Na wakati wanataka kuua mtu ambaye amewashida katika levo zingine zote. Hiyo levo ndiyo iko na watu wachache. Selected people wale wameingia levo hiyo. Lakini wako. Then kuna raana yake ufanywa na mwanaume akiwa miaka 45 45 na hiyo nasikia ndiyo iliweka ceiling ya mortality kwa maana wa Kenya wanakufa by 45 can you imagine right that tukiwa na vijana we were, i asked that question una, tulikuwa tunagundua walio above 50 55 eh? they are only 6% in Kenya 4 hey, wewe 6% 6.5 Fifty 55% 55 years and above wale wako 55 wale wako 30 years and below they are 77% 77 76% yapo katikati 45 to 50 they are only maybe 10% Ni nini ufanyika lika hii kifika 45? Kwa maana that ni wengi sana. Lakini wakianza kufuka 40 45 ni nini ufanyika? Kwa maana sasa ukihesabu vizazi karibu vitatu. Your grandfathers, his grandfather and your mother. Lika hizo zatu sinastahili kuwa pamoja. Kwa nini ninasema sinastahili kuwa pamoja? Can you imagine wazazi wetu waliolewa na kuwa wakiwa wachanga sana? 
Wengine wenu first born mama zenu waliwapata wakiwa 16. So at the age 16 ndio baba ya mama yako anakupata na yeye mama yake alimpata akiwa 16 ama 17 na babu yake naye alipata baba yake at the same age unastahili kuwa unaona baba mama baba babu na babu huyo mwingine four generations because of the marriage age kwa maana kama alioa akiwa 40 you can expect mzee baba yake alikuwa mzee Lakini huyu ameoa kiwa 20 something, akapata first born. Na ye first born akapata mtoto akiwa 16. Then iwe, uku pata babu, uku pata... <laughs> that means he is dying at 40. Ndiyo kwa hiro rara ana la 45, lidiweka sitting of mortality. If we don't do something, that ceiling will drop. Because the hicho wamefanya sasa inaweza ku drop ceiling to that. Iki succeed. If they succeed now, the world will come to see. Watakuwa na ulisana na ninini walifanya. Iri iwe nji ya watoto. Because we are almost, we are almost there. We are almost there. Na tukiwa inji ya watoto, we cannot embroil anybody. Kwa mana uyu mtu anafika fourth and anafika kazi hile inafika mahali ya naweza kuanjiri watatu. Waine. Ati alie dhate, ana kitu kinaanjiri mtu. Ana kitu kinaweza pea mtu anything. Are you here with me? If something does not change now, something wrong will happen. Greater than it has ever happened. And that is what I cannot allow. Amen. Kuna sikika kama mfuwa inakuja. Sasa tuanze kufunga virago tuende. It is time to eat. Pea kila mtu mbaasha atayalishe kafara yake. Pea kila mtu mbaasha atayalishe kafara yake. Uondoe kitu kire, urete sandaka imu kubalie kristo kama kafara ya peke, mwana kondo wa mungu. Kwa mana alitolewa, kama vile musa alikuwa meambiwa utachagua kondo, kristo, ilikuwa inasimamia kristo. Na kristo wamefika kwa hivyo sandaka zetu, sina mkubali. Kama mwana kondo wa mungu wa ambaye ureta, ondole uradhambi. Ili kwa sandaka hiyo, useme bwana. Sasa nataka kurejesha. Re, kiti chako cha reema kama kristo alivyo kireta. Na mkubali mwana kondo wa mungu. Murango wa peke uingiae katika kiti cha reema. Murango ufunguae marango ya uzima. Na sasa kwa sandaka hii naitoa kama 
kitu kikubaliayo mbele yako kurejea kwa Kristo kama mrango wa taifa Kristo kuna Kristo kama mwokozi lakini alisema mimi ndiye rango la kondoo na kitu kile ndicho walikuwa nakataa katika uwanja ule Tuamrejesha kama rango la taifa Tuamrejesha kama rango lifunguae marango Tuavunja sandaka zingine zifunguae marango hayo tuaziondoa katika nje Arafu kwa sandaka hiyo utafanya hukumu Tasema Bwana Nanja katika meza yako nikirejesha meza yako kama meza ya hukumu ya taifa na hukumu za kwangu Sasa nakomesha hukumu zingine zote nachukua atia ya meza hiyo tuliyojenga na kuifika waketie katika uwanja sasa na kunena hukumu juu yao Bwana naomba urundi chakula changu kitakuwa cha heshima yako na njia katika meza ya haki na kuondoa udhalimu Amen. Okay. Kuja hapa brother Mwenda. Brother Mugambi rundi hapo nyuma. Brother Kingaru simama hapo pia. Okay. Uh, twende. Brother Mwiti come come here. Kuja hapo. Okay. Kidenji kuja hapo pia. kuja katika mesa hii Sasa we are accepting the table of Christ. Wale wamesimama katika meza hiyo. You are sanctifying the table of Christ for Kenya. You are receiving it. Check your heart. Do you want it lile? Bi kabra unja itakaza ikiwa ya taifa la Kenya. Ya embu. Ngoja niombe Bwana Mungu Sasa naleta taifa rote chini ya nyumba hili Kwa maana tuko katika embu moja ya nyumba kuu za Kenya kuhusu uwanja wa damu Sasa tunakuja kwa sherehe yako na tunabadilisha taifa rote Ewe Bwana Mungu naleta taifa chini ya hukumu zako sikia ndua zao tu tunapoomba kwa utukufu wa jina lako Asante Bwana Tuwaomba na kuamini Nataka usimame sasa ufanya hiyo hukumu. Nyinyi mnasimama mwisho ule wa taifa. Wale wanasimama mwisho ule wa taifa. Hawa wanasimama mwisho ule wa taifa na tunaombea katikati. Tufanye hukumu tuilete meza ya Kristo. Na we unashika kipawa. That gift you are dedicating it. Amen. Can you close your eyes now for two minutes only? Do that judgment. We are setting apart the table of our celebration now. <laughs>